Hello everybody, Georgia Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I've made this delightful card. This isn't my idea. got this idea off of Pinterest and it's made by um, Heart... God, I just looked at it. HeartsDelightCards.com No name on it. That's all that's under it. Off of Pinterest. And I thought it was so pretty I had to make it. To make this card I've used the stamp set Little Ladybug and I've used the flower, the flying ladybug and the crawling ladybug. I've also used the sentiment happy birthday and I'm also going to use that on the inside, the little tiny one. I forgot to get out, I'll get it out there. Right, I have already stamped and cut these bits out, but I will stamp one more on the ladybugs and obviously these. So, um, cardstock you need a scrap of white, a card base of, and I, oh, here it is, got the wrong one of 11 and 3 quarters inch by 4 and 1 8 scored at 4 and 1 8 folded in half not scored at 4 and 1 8 scored at 5 and 7 8 folded in half and we're going to have it like that opening like that and we're going to burnish it I've got a white piece of cardstock. Well, I've got three, I don't know. I only need two. At five and five eighths by three and seven eighths to go on there. I have a piece of DSP Gar Gingham Gala or Gala Gingham. Uh, the yellow one. Pineapple Crunch Crunch. I think that's gold. But this measures three inches by five and a half. And that will go in there like that. I have a piece of old olive at one inch by five and a half and that will go under that piece like that and then we'll lay off our flowers and our ladybugs. Also, I don't know if you can see that, just there I've got a couple of tufts of grass to hide the stems and I've cut them from clubhouse dies, from the grass dies, the tufts of grass. That's all I borrowed that for was them two bits of grass, which I've cut out here. I'll just put them with the rest. Right, to get started we are going to stamp in Versafine. Now you need three flowers but I'm only going to stamp one. Seems as I've cut all the rest out. But I'm going to stamp one flower and I've used Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. Cloth out. Right. Just organ organizing myself at the front here to give me space at the side rather. I need a scrap. See, at the side I've got a scrap of paper to stamp off the 
excess ink on my stamps. Right, one of the ladybugs, this one's the flying one. Need one of them. Clean that off. And then the crawling ladybug. I need one of them. Ooh, what happened there? I think I pressed too hard on it. That's better. Right. Put them to one side to dry. Now, the inside bit. Oh, I know I had three. I never did an inside bit of my other ones. So I'm going to do this twice. So all I'm going to do is... Right, turn that over because my stamp is upside down. Trust me to do that. I'm gonna that's it. I'm gonna just stamp these along the bottom. Like that. I'll do two, one for the other one. So I'm doing the middle first. this end and then this end I think that's all we need the the sink for so I'll stick the lid on that right we're going to colour them in shortly Right, well, uh, oh, and this, your long green piece, we're going to stamp happy birthday, but I'm using my Versafine for that. Make sure I put that the right way. And we're going to stamp that to the right hand side near the bottom. Like that. Clean the stamp. And that is all our stamping done. Right, we'll put this together, I think, just to give the Colour bits a bit, uh, the stamped bits a bit of time to dry. So, leaving a gap, we're going to put this down. Put that down. Should have done this bit first. Right. I'm going to push this under the yellow. Hmm. 
Right, I need to trim this a tiny bit. That's it. It's funny that when I had it down by itself, it kind of measured the same as the paper. And when you put it down, it's... Right. So if you're making a card like this, put the green down first before you put the paper down. And then we put this on our card base. So, right, and now we'll colour in our stamping using blender pens, and obviously, we want the red. I've got these just out of reach the black, daffodil delight, and old olive. They're the four colours I've used, but that's one side. Right, on this flower, all I did was colour in the centre part. Like that. And then with the old olive. Colour in the stem and the leaves. Hope you're all staying safe. Still on lockdown. There we are here. Right, for the ladybugs. Real red and colour in the uh, wings. Couldn't remember what they were called then. Oh, I knew there was something I had to tell you. For all those in the UK, I don't know about um, the US, whether you're to get this, but let me just finish that. You know I have got a stamp positioner, a Hampton Art stamp positioner. Well, on the in the UK there is a channel called, a TV channel called Hochanda, which is a craft channel on Sky 683 I don't know any other mates of channels you know BT and Netflix or whatever but on Sky it's 683 and they were selling these but the bigger version so a 10 by 10 so they were selling one that you got a 10 up here Oh my god, it's going to be massive. So, from there, all the way up, square, so, oh, you not can't see the edge of my paper. But, 10 by 10, like that, for £14. Now, I paid £17 for this 5 by 7 when they first come out. But, the, on her chanter spot, uh, Ho Chanda, they were actually selling the 10 by 10s for £14. If you're a new customer, you got 20% off, which actually pays your postage. 
and I think they're worth it. They're also doing another one, uh, a pack of two for twenty odd pounds. My sister ordered the two, one for her and one for her daughter, and she's paid what eighteen pound for two. Because she got her twenty percent off, and I think that was before postage. So if you haven't got a stamparatus and you're looking for a stamp positioner, go over to her chanda. Mine will be here on the 11th of September. No, September, 11th of April. Saturday, because today's the 7th. So by the time you see this, I would already have mine. In one of my next videos I will um, do a card using my new stamp positioner. Then you'll see how big it is. I didn't realise it was that big. I don't know why I didn't think about it, but but I knew I needed a bigger one because I tried doing a six by six card once, and I couldn't get it in the stamp positioner to do a pattern I wanted to do. So um, yeah. I've got this and I'll be able to do the card I want. When people with a stamparatus, uh, they won't need one. I haven't bought a stamparatus for the sake of the very pricey. And I've got my small one, and now I've got a bigger one. It was actually a Mother's Day present from my kids. They gave me money, and I bought that. And I also bought a um, mini Big Shop. It's called a Sizzix Sidekick. It's just a two and a half inch cutting machine that I can have on the table here, and you'll see me use it in a card I'm going to do film today, actually. But you'll see it whenever I cut out the load up the uh, card once I filmed it. Right, I'll do their legs black. His legs black. And make his eyes a bit darker. And then I cut them out using the dies that go with the set. And use them. <laughs> so that's them. I'll cut them out at a later time. Right, with this we're just going to colour these in. Red. Never went right to the edge there.
That's one. I might as might as well do the second one so I can stick it in the card. I've started giving out my um, thank you cards. Um, I had to call a doctor out to my husband. Uh, not last night, though, before. He'd got a spider bite on his leg when he cut the grass at the weekend, and his whole leg went red and swollen. Couldn't walk on it. So we called a doctor out and they came out and gave him antibiotics and treated him. And I gave him and his driver a card, a thank you card. And about 10 minutes later, they came back, knocked the door to thank me for the cards, <laughs> which I thought was really nice of them. The driver couldn't believe that we'd done that for him, or I'd done that for him. Right. So all we need to do on these cars just follow the dots. Oh, and by the way, hubby's getting better. The antibiotics are kicked in. The infection's not going any further up his leg. Thank God. Right, all we've got to do now is put these pens away quickly. Try and keep the surface clear. Right, one's for this card. Let's pop this in. Blue flown. Right, on oh, that that way. There we are. I'll do that card. Now I'll put this one in. Now I've got all my bits here and what I've got to do is bring down the dimensionals mini those are my darts that's them And we're going to put dimensionals on these. Right, let's put them on the flowers first. Right, two of them have five on them.
so back in back ends off and this one we're going to oh what happened there better this one we're going to put down here and I'm putting the bottom pedal petal just by the gingham right this one take these off we're going to do that this side like that and then this one will sit in the middle now I did chop a bit of the stem off at the bottom so I want it to come lower down and all I'm going to do is put dimensionals through the middle so one there one there and one there And then just sit that, with that on the bottom, through there, and pop a little bit of glue, which I should have done before I stuck it down, but never mind, underneath. Just like that. Right, the ladybug, um, we're going to sit on there, so we'll just need a dimensional on each of its wings. One there and one there. Take the backings off. Bit of glue on the body. And we're just going to sit that under there. Like that there. And the other ladybug. Oh, here it is. That is going to crawl on that one and we just need a tiny one, tiny dimensional, in the middle of its head. Like that. So glue the body, take the dimensional off, the backing off. And sit that on there. Right, these tiny things, the grass, we're going to place them on dimensionals, a small dimensional on the base of each one. Right, set it back and off. What I'm going to do is line that up with the green strip that's on there. And this one I'm going to have it overlapping. No, that's not very good. Need to glue these tips. down there we are that just hides the little stems we don't need to see now all we've got to do is put some gems on and I have got some got gems here 
my pokey tool and I've started using glue when I put these gems on. I think I put seven on. One there, one there, three, four, five, six, seven. And that's it. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my videos, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting, and I hope to see you again soon.